Hey everybody, it is uh, Monday. I go back to work. Uh, first day back to the shop since uh, I got back from my trip or my TDY. And uh, we're in the soap battle. So today, well, actually, yesterday, Barrister Man soap battle of Ferox, grapefruit, vetiver, uh, kind of saved your time. I think actually both. That was the winner because there was nobody else to fight against. But today, goes up against Leviathan, a nice strong kind of meaty name, and it fits for this soap. Leviathan, I couldn't tell you what it actually means, but it's fitting for this soap. You get, um, if I remember the notes are coffee, sandalwood, and Russian leather, if I remember correctly. You definitely get the leather. My brush, my Brad Sear silver tip, um, I'm calling it mango because it's a uh, curly mango wood. And I just think mango, perfect name for it. I'm also gonna use my Micromatic Open Comb. Uh, new blade in there, I'm not using that, uh, that Gillette Blue, or the, the Gem Blue Star from yesterday. Not using that. My aftershave will be one of these two. Southern OUD, or the Big Shave West Meetup. Don't know which one yet, uh, we'll see. I'm gonna go straight into uh, loading the brush. Take some soap off or water off. Both of these uh, first two were uh, the tallow. Tomorrow you'll get the, uh, I think it's the only vegan formula of Barrister Man I have, and I haven't used it yet, the Petrichor. Um, but on to Leviathan. Leviathan is a, uh, actually, first, when I use the uh, razor, um, one of the uh, guys I know, uh, Dan, uh, just started using it, and he said he has some problems around his nose, and I've heard that issues before with uh, people using the uh, single edges getting around your nose. It's hard for me to put in print how I do it. So I figure I'll kind of talk through it or talk after it and kind of display how I do it, you know, with a little more example or explanation. But onto this, for, um, I have Rome and I'll get to that. It'll be the third to last soap. Um, this is like a, I'll say like a cousin or a sister of Rome and because it's leathery, but you get other stuff in there where Rome is uh, straight leather and as some people I've heard say it smells like a rubber band. Leviathan's been told, said it smells like, in uh, one review I just read actually earlier, smells like a wet dog. I don't get that. I do get the leather. That is very prevalent. I get, I won't say a hint of coffee, but I do get something kind of like a coffee bean kind of stuff. But it doesn't make you think of coffee. I can, when you read the description, I can tell it's there. But it's not like you're thinking, ooh, coffee beans, you know, or, or a cup of coffee. It's not like that. Um, and you do get kind of a little bit of a, a woody hint, but it's mainly leather, but it's toned down more versus Rome. So if you like, or if you don't like Rome, I'd probably recommend you stay away from this. Um, just because I think they're similar, you know, family members. But I'm not going to tell you not to try it because I think it's still a, it's a very nice scent. Would I normally use it middle of June when it's supposed to be 110 today if I remember correctly? And I just worked out outside, did a two mile run, did my workout in the gym that included four rounds of 360 meter runs outside while doing, I ended up actually working outside undercover because the gym was so full. Um, in the caged in area, but uh, so it's super hot. So what I'd normally use this on this day, not a chance. If I wasn't doing this battle, I'd be using something menthol type deal. Um, normally, I'd, otherwise I'd use the menthol pre-shave. So I'm doing this for you guys, not really. I'm just doing this because I enjoy it. I love these battles. Um, I'm glad other people like them. For those that didn't know, I started this a while back. Did Soap Commander, uh, was the first. Ginger's Garden, now I'm doing Barrister and Man. Um, and I plan on, uh, was inspired by uh, kind of a combination. Um, Busta was doing his Soap Wars that I know he stopped. Um, and then at the same time, Simon Kamaj was doing uh, his Use Your Soaps Month. Um, it was during Artisan, um, Artisan April. He was doing Use Your Soap Month. So kind of those two kind of inspired me to do this. Because I wanted to use my soaps. 
but I wanted a fun format and something that would uh, make it kind of set itself apart and allow me to kind of figure out what I liked. You can already see I got part of the mustache area there. I'll get back to the rest. Like I said yesterday, Barrister Man Performance. It's in the elite for me. Got a small little zip for me there, so that's all that is. If I had to narrow down razors, this would be one of the few I'd keep. Okay. First pass, I always go straight down on my nose or upper. So obviously pushing aside, and I get the blade right underneath the nose. You can see I pull down. <laughs> so that's that side. It doesn't get it perfect. That's all reduction. Honestly, the sweet passes are the next two, and that's how I get it. What I consider to be a perfect upper lip. All right, on to pass two. See this brush lathered up the soap really, really well. Shedding a few hairs, but nothing bad. It's what you would expect. The silver tip is very, very soft, but you can still feel the hairs. So it's not uh, it's not overly floppy. Um, for those that may have the other knots, um, in forms of backbone um, of the badgers I have, the I'll go through three of them. The Nathan Clark Envy White Knot has the most backbone of any badger, but still has very good softness to it. Then uh, would go my uh, the next kind of change would be uh, the Brad Sear um, two band finest. Then I would go with my uh, in tobacco department my Nathan Clark um, High Mountain Whites, and then goes this. Uh, so this is definitely the softest. Um, honestly, I can't remember the Matthew Marting kind of softness right now. It's been a little while since I've used it. The scent on this soap, um, it does mild down. During the dry down, like now, the leather to me tones down, and then the uh, you can pick up the more woody aspect. Like I said, I get a hint of that coffee type smell. It's not strong, um, definitely not a coffee soap in my mind, but I get a hint of it. I get more of that woody. It goes wood, then leather, then just a speck of coffee. Where on the blooming and the initial lathering, it's leather, some wood, very light coffee. So it's like the wood and the leather kind of go around. Round the upper lip again. So coming around. Now you'll see I come down at an angle and I'm only really using this corner, the top corner. And I come down and that gets it right underneath the nose but then I come straight across on the rest of the lip. And I do the same there. And that's, and I'll do the exact same on the other direction.
Now some people are like, why isn't he taking care of these little nicks? I wait till the end. It's not affecting my shave, so I see no reason to uh, get up the stip dick and seal it up or anything like that. That just adds more time to the shave and gotta let that you know dry, seal up, rinse it off, then lather over it. Once again, as I'm applying the lather, the leather is becoming the prominent note again. But as the shave goes on, it changes. So because of the other notes, this soap definitely, it's an autumn soap where to me Rome is an exclusive winter soap and in winter Arizona I only really get a couple days where I can really use that soap I should have gone with a uh, different razor, personally. Because I am in kind of a hurry, running a little late today. But, uh, so I'm kind of rushing it, so that's probably why I got these little ones here. But So now, I'll push my lip out. You can see, I don't know if it shows up, but yeah, I'm just using that. Around the bottom though, is I'm just using that last little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse up real quick. See where I'm at. If it is good enough for today. I'm not gonna push it. I'm go straight to cold water. I'm gonna pause over here at that. All right, I am back, and uh, let me go ahead and uh, give my final thoughts. Um, the battle, honestly, is uh, really no comparison for me. Um, I think these are two different soaps altogether. And maybe I'd feel differently if I was doing this battle, say, September, October, November. Um, I honestly don't think I would, though. Uh, just because I think that Leviathan offers a fantastic scent. It gets that leathery, the manly type scent that I'm looking for in a soap. Um... And that's fantastic. It does exactly what I want it, front, want it to. But I feel that Ferrex, even though it's advertised as a spring scent because you get that grapefruit, but with that addition of the vetiver, it gives it a type of a scent that I don't have in any other soap yet, at least that I know of yet. That it, it brings that earthiness to the sweet, um, bitter kind of uh, grapefruit smell. So to me, Ferrex is the winner. Um, not to tell you Leviathan's bad. While I'm doing the aftershave, I should have done this earlier, I forgot. Um, I'm going to use the Big Shave West uh, meetup. Sniff the two of them and this is what I decided. But uh, I forgot to tell you, the. hopefully you're still watching, the story of how I got that soap real quick. It was recommended to me by uh, Todd Bryant. And lo and behold it was out. Um, because it was only a fall re uh, autumn release. I put up on buy sell trade I was looking for it and I guess one had just sold and the guy goes hey I found one online still and it was off of Barrister Man's old website I think I've told the story before but I'll tell it again real quick um, so I contacted Barrister Man um, they said no that's our old website but maybe we have one around we'll look so they looked around and sure as heck the next day they messaged me 
you know, it was hidden. It was the last puck from last year. Um, so I, I came back and said, I'd love to get it. Um, how, you just want me to send PayPal, whatever. I said, don't worry, we'll send it to you. Um, so to me, that was huge because to them, it was kind of like lost product, I guess. It was just, you know, didn't account for it. But to me, I really appreciate that. It was like, they went out there, could have just said, nope, that's old. You know, I was gladly willing to pay for it. But they went ahead and looked. They could have said, no, our inventory says it's not there. It's not there. But they took the extra time, found it, and then piffed it to me. To me, that was uh, super generous. They didn't have to do it. Um, but as you can see, it still didn't change. I still like the soap, but it didn't make it win the battle. So their generosity is greatly appreciated. Has no play in this battle at all. Ferox, once again, is your winner. Brad Searbrush, fantastic. I hope that helped. This is super smooth up here. Hope that helped with the... Uh, uh, Dan, with uh, your upper lip part. If it didn't, let me know and I can try to show it in a better angle, hopefully. Everybody, God bless. I really got to get going and I will catch you tomorrow.